What's up everybody, it's your boy Z-Man here bringing you part 57 of our Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red in the last part. We were here on Five Island. We just gotten ourselves that, uh, that the, the Sapphire thing, the other gem that we needed. Luckily we don't need to go get an Emerald or anything like that. So once you get the Sapphire, we're going to go ahead and want to give this to Celio like a good little boy. Not for a million, not for a million. Damn it. I always press that button. It first first thing I always do when I'm trying to go to a new island is I go to Vermilion. Don't want to go to Vermilion. Kanto sucks. Take me to Sevi Islands again, please. All right, so we're going to make our way back to one island and back to Celio right up here. Celio is going to be very happy that we give him this. See, there's the ruby in the machine. Celio, we give him the sapphire and Celio, the excited man that he is, so this is the gem that forms a bear with the ruby. See, you've gone through a lot to get this, didn't you? You don't have to tell me. I know it wasn't easy. Thank you so much. Now it's my turn to work for you. Please, give me a little time. So Celio gets to work, putting in the sapphire. Okay, this is good. That, that was it. Well done, my friend. Okay, I guess he does have a little bit more work to do. And there it is! The machine turned on, finally! I did it! I linked up with Lynette! Z, I did it! I did it! I managed to link up with trainers in the Hoenn region! Finally, the network machine is fully operational! Z, I owe it all to you! Thanks to you, my dream has come true! So there it is. We are now finally able to establish connections with the, Kant, the Kanto and the Hoenn regions. How exciting is that? So if you want to go up these stairs and you have yourself a copy of Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald, and I don't know how far you have to go in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald in order to trade with this game, but I don't think it's as far, nearly as far as this game. This game, you have to beat the game, go through pretty much all the Sevy Islands, and then you can get yourself uh, Hoenn region Pokemon, you know, that's always good. Alright, so... We done here? We done? Celio? I'll see ya. I'm gonna go have some fun on the final island, because obviously we are not done yet. We've only... We've only visited six of the seven islands. There's one more to go. I'm not going to Vermilion this time. To Seven Island! On the highest speed galop 5, or 12, or whatever, whichever high speed galop that is. So this is Seven Island, also known as Quest Island. What's up, dude? What's up? What's up? This island has been left virtually untouched in its natural state. It could be a little difficult to hike around because of that. There's a few things you can do here on Seven Island. Uh, most notably is up in the north. Hey, woman. I may not look at much now, but when I was younger, I flew everywhere, training, challenging trainers wherever I found them. Now my only source of enjoyment is reminiscing about the past while watching battles. That's, that's sad. I've always wondered. Um, there's these boxes back here, right? And a door. There's You can clearly see there's a door behind those boxes, yet you can't go out that door. And if you go around to the back where that door would be, you can't go in or anything. I, I always wonder what the hell is up with that, but that's just me, I guess. That's just me. All right. Up here in the north is Trainer Tower. Can I fight you? Yes, I can. Very nice. Somewhere on this island, a peculiar Pokemon are sleeping. That's cool. I'm I'm glad that there's Pokemon that are peculiar sleeping on this island. But we got Psychic Rodette. Who's going to send out her Natu? The unevolved form of Zatu. So, one Thunderbolt will easily take out a Natu. It's actually really lucky that we had Bolt out in front for this. Uh, Natu is a psychic flying type, and the Zatu is actually a pretty cool design. I always like the design of Zatu. It's like an upright Egyptian bird. It's got like the cloak and all that crap. Bolt grew level 51, which is always a good thing. Yes, I want to change Pokemon. I want to let Sue take down Drowsy. Was it Drowsy or uh, Hypno? I think it was Drowsy. If it's Drowsy, it's not going to be too hard. If it's Hypno, Sue may be in for a little bit of a trouble. Drill Peck. I love Drill Pack. Such a good, strong move, actually. Drowsy goes down to one Drill Pack. 
Up next, this one's probably Hypno. Yes, here comes Hypno. No, I'm not going to change Pokemon. Sue's going to get to level 51 in this battle. It's going to happen. Drill Peck that Hypno. It probably won't take it out in one shot, but next one definitely will if it misses with the Hypnos. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Drill Peck that, drill peck that Hypno. Hypno goes down. Sue gains experience points. Grows to level 51. I'm just guessing, because, you know, it's good. It's good. Good guess. Good guess. Uh, her attack's attacking speed, or right exactly what I was trying to get up. All right. Yes, I know. I'm so amazing. Thank you. Um, nice hair. Nice balls. I'll see you later. All right. So up here is Trainer Tower. The road Trainer Tower. What's up, dude? I sensed your approach. Apparently, he sensed my approach. He is a psychic after all. That dude's that dude's got that dude's got a nice set of balls as well. This is Dario, not to be mistaken with Mario or Wario or um, any other Arios that I can think of later when I'm thinking of more Arios. I'm going to, I know I will. Dario Dario Frankiti, that's his name. I was about to say I know a fa there's a famous Dario out there somewhere. I definitely know that name. One more Thunderbolt on this Giraffe Rig will, without a doubt, take it down. Giraffe Rig is a pretty interesting Pokemon. I mean, look at that thing. His tail. His tail's creepy. Like, ugh. I don't know. All right. We defeated Psychic Dario. I, what? You telling me to give up, dude? Oh, my goodness. Just, just, just don't. All right. I need to... I can't remember if I have a Max Appel on. I'm going to go ahead and test, because if I don't, and we go surfing, I'm going to be running into, like, level 10 Pokemon. While we're surfing, I want Albert out in front. So everyone else is pretty much already level 51. Yes, I want to surf. Let's go surfing. Uh, up here to this place, which is known as the Trainer Tower Entrance. Now, this is... A uh, very interesting place. You can fight various trainers around here. Uh, we got ourselves a Pokemon Center. There's a computer you can grab your machines and stuff. Tell me about the trainer tower. <sighs> Never mind battling. These stairs are tougher than any battle. Okay, you're that's pathetic, dude. I'm here to see how good I am. I wonder what kind of trainers are waiting for me. It's nerve-wracking. Obviously. Hi there. May I help you? Oh, this is the shop. Obviously, there's the Pokemon Center here. This is the time board. As you can see, there's a bunch of different types of uh, trainer battles. So there's a single, double, mixed, and knockout. I don't know what all those are, but um, as you ascend the tower, you're going to be facing more and more trainers. And after each trainer, at the, at the top of the tower, if you beat all the trainers up there... You win a prize, I believe. I've never had the patience. There's no real reason for me to do this. You don't gain experience from any of these fights. It's a huge time-consuming waste, and it always seems like I choose the wrong strategy when I go in these battles. So we're not going to do the Battle Tower. I know you guys were so excited to see me do the Battle Tower. Screw surfing. Sue, take me back down to... No, no. Sue, take me back down here. Now we're going to head south towards the canyon entrance. What's down there? I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, All the way down. What's up, dude? Not many people come out here. If I train here, I'm convinced that I'm going to grow stronger. Yep, stronger and stronger. Hmm, would you like to hurt like that move? Ooh, swords dance. Yes. That's fine. Okay. I only have one Pokemon that can learn the move Sword. This is actually perfect. I do want... I, Infuego would be perfect Pokemon to have Sword Stance. Let's forget... Is This is the one that raises attack. Yes, that's the one I want. Wing attack. Let's forget wing attack so that we can learn Sword Stance. That is going... That's This is a move that uh, increases your attack stat by two levels. Very helpful in battles with Pokemon that are stronger than you, um, or or just flat out Pokemon that have a crap ton of HP, like if you go up against a Weezing or a Snorlax, oh man, that'd be very helpful. 
That's right, dude. All right. Here's the canyon entrance, and I immediately run straight into a battle. Whatever, woman. I don't want to... I don't even want to think about fighting you. What the heck? That sounded so much like a... Like one of those, like, judo people. But no, it's a freaking aroma lady. She wants the battle. And she happens to have a Bell Awesome. Oh, that is the cutest freaking Pokemon I've ever seen. Look at that thing. Oh... Blossoms, they're really, really weird and awesome at the same time. Magical Leaf is a gra it's a grass type po grass type move. I always get that confused because there's a Mr. Mime in this game that you can trade for. If you um, trade for that Mr. Mime, that Mr. Mime learns the move Magical Leaf, and I always have it on my Pokemon uh, to counter any water type Pokemon along with Bolt. I did not pay attention to what Pokemon is being sent out, but I think Albert should be able to hand it's another Blossom, go figure. Body Slam! Uh, but like I was saying, yeah, that Mr. Mime always learns Magical Leaf, and I always have it learn Magical Leaf, uh, so it can counter all the water type Pokemon that I'm gonna go up against, because I pretty much always choose Charizard. <laughs> like Gary's Blastoids is a perfect example, it's a good, it's a good time to have Mr. Mime with a Magical Leaf. Albert grows to level 51. Always good sign. Do you have any more Pokemon? Nope, you're done. Good job, Aroma Lady. I know I'm too strong for you. You're kind of cute. Just ni nice skirt and all that stuff. You have no money. Give me frick. Wanted money. All right, Pokemon. Let's switch Shazam out in front for now. Moving onward. This way. This way. This way. And this way. I don't have to face this bird dude, do I? But I feel like there's an item over there. I'm gonna try to go for it. And I ran right into that battle because I couldn't... Howdy, partner! Are you a fan member of my fan club? Why would you ever have a fan club? Are you the Pokemon League champion? No. I'm the Pokemon League... Okay, this guy's a juggler. I'm now a part of your fan club. You handle those balls very well. There's so many that's what she said jokes in this episode. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. All right, Voltorb. That's an easy one. Let's go ahead and psychic this thing into submission. Because it's so easy to do. Voltorbs just don't let them self-destruct, and they're literally of no panic to you. Next up is another Voltorb. No, I'm not going to change. What's up with jugglers and the freaking Voltorbs and the electrodes? I guess they're the only real ball Pokemon, but... You can juggle with, like, Scar... You can, I can juggle... I could probably juggle a Zekrom doll or a Pikachu doll. Actually, I can't juggle at all. Ooh, a Pineco. This is a new one. Pineco is not what it appears to be. As we learned in Johto, this thing is actually a bug-type Pokemon. I, yeah, it's a bug-type Pokemon, because it's the only bug-type Pokemon that does not freak the living crap out of Misty. Nessie goes down, not Nessie, uh, Pineco does, goes down to Nessie, and now I'll go ahead and stick with, because I'm pretty sure bug-type Pokemon are strong against psychic-type moves, that's maybe just me. Let's go ahead and Ice Beam this Pineco one more time, this will easily take it out. Pineco is another Pokemon that you gotta watch out for, self-destruct, basically any Pokemon that can learn self-destruct is... The one that the juggler wants. Nessie gains more experience, but basically no experience points. We defeated Juggler Mason. Oh, so you're not a fan. Are you kidding me, dude? Let me sing for you? Okay, I'm done. I'm leaving. Screw you. I'm going home. Anything over here? Was there any reason for me to come over here? No, there was not. Damn it. Unnecessary battles. Let's move a little bit further. How did you see me? I punish people who abuse Pokemon. That's a weird voice to come out of a girl, but I didn't recognize it was a girl until just now. Alright, this is Ranger Madeline. Damn Rangers, Ranger girls have nice health. Look at that. Damn. Alright, she's got a Gloom. Obviously, Poison Grass type. Perfect matchup for Shazam. Hopefully she sends out a Bioplume next, because that's going to be easy, easy extra experience. Especially for a psychic type like Shazam, like I said. Alright, gain some experience points. Up next is another Vile Plume. No, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. This isn't a Gloom, this is a Vile Plume. Extra experience points for Shazam. Should go out in one hit, considering it is a poison type. Yes, sir, Bob. Alright. 
Battle Plume Faints, Shazam gets experience, grows to level 51. Very nice. Love it. And we defeated Ranger Madeline. I don't have this, I don't have any problems. You were worried I was abusing my Pokemon, woman. I know, I understand. Alright. Uh, I don't think there's anything left for me to do here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the part off right here. We're getting a little bit long. In the next part, we'll finish up Seven Island and then head to our next destination. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see all of you guys next time.